Good morning and welcome to another vlog. I thought I would vlog today because I am having a fairly interesting couple of days. I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow as well and kind of like make one vlog from two days. Um, I'm just getting ready now so I thought I would just jump on and tell you what actually is going to be in the vlog and to say hello and everything. Putting a bit of concealer on because my foundation has like really darkened up on my face it's oxidized so i need to lighten it down so it looks like i'm putting a lot of concealer on which i suppose i am but it needs to be done because the um makeup's gone really dark so today i'm not doing much um this morning it's like 10 o'clock now half past 10 um i'm not doing much this morning but later on i'm actually gonna be going to see some puppies i'm really really excited so i thought that would actually be something really really nice to vlog um today because i think we all know that puppies will cheer everybody up <laughs> um so basically the puppy is not going to be for me it is actually for my mum now she lost her dog well i mean i say her dog but it was actually like our family dog so um she was 13 and so i grew up with her quite a lot of my life we got her when i was 15 um so yeah she was there through quite a lot of my life and i was just so used to her being around and then during the last lockdown she became suddenly ill like from getting ill was an hour to when she was put down so sorry this is a really depressing start to a vlog isn't it but i'm it's gonna cheer up when we see the puppies later so yeah it was quite traumatic with it being locked down um, and you know not being able to do all the usual things that you would do something like that was happening so yeah it was really sad and that was back in May so almost a year ago god I can't believe that year has just flown by my mum sort of finally decided she was gonna get another dog Um, her dog that she lost was a spring spaniel uh, anyway, she found these puppies which are actually here on the island, um, really really nice breeder, like not somebody that breeds dogs all the time, just someone that's had a few litters but does it all really well. I'm really excited for my mum. Anyway, because of the lockdown changes and we're now allowed to like go in gardens, um, the lady said that mum can bring anyone from the family to come and see the puppies so of course I was like I'm coming to see those puppies I think there's eight. Oh, I didn't say what they are they are um, a spring spaniel crossed with a poodle so they're called a sprudel I think that's what they're called so yeah really really excited to go and meet the puppies today and I thought it'd be a really nice day to just bring you along with me so I'm gonna just like finish getting ready now and then tomorrow or I might do it this afternoon I really really want to make a spring capsule wardrobe I've been seeing so many people do this on YouTube and I've been obsessed with watching these videos um, but basically it's where you just really minimalize your wardrobe so you pick like your favorite pieces that would go with lots of different outfits so you don't actually have too many clothes laying around and then each day you can make a different outfit from each one and I just really love the idea of that because in a way I do already do that I don't really wear that many different clothes I have quite a lot of clothes so I love buying clothes and you know having different outfits but on a day-to-day -day basis I generally wear quite similar stuff like this jumper I've probably worn in so many videos because I just like my comfortable clothing and I know what I like so I tend to just do that anyway but I wanted to try and make some more interesting outfits out of what I've got so I'm gonna either do that later on today or tomorrow and I'm probably gonna have a clear out of this room here which is like my dressing room and um, try and sort all that out I was really lazy last night because I washed my hair normally I blow dry after I wash it so then in the morning it's all like smooth but I didn't I went to bed with it wet so it's now in its natural state which is a kind of frizzy wavy mess i wish it wasn't frizzy because i wouldn't mind it like the underneath bit actually is okay but it's the top layer that's really frizzy so i can't really wear it that natural so i need to do something with this because as we speak it's like growing i really hope everybody has had a nice easter weekend i am filming this on easter monday but it will be my wednesday video so the easter weekend will have gone um, so I hope everyone's had a really nice time. What did you get up to? What did you do? Um, I didn't really do a lot. I was spending a lot of time just chilling in the garden, which was so lovely. The weather was just beautiful. 
and it was actually a perfect time to like make the most out of the garden and just be sat in it today actually it's a little bit more colder like, and cloudy but yes Saturday and Sunday were really really nice here on the Isle of Wight um, I don't know what the weather was like everywhere else but I'm pretty sure it was good all over so yeah just kind of chilled in the garden um drunk lots of iced coffee and I'm actually trying to be healthy at the minute so I was having some fruit I'm into kiwis at the moment oh and on Friday my friend came around so she's like my best friend like my closest friend on the island and um I haven't seen her for four months. She's been in a few of my videos actually, so you might have seen her before if you do watch all of my videos. On Easter Friday, because she had the day off, she came round and we just sat in the garden and we had a few gins and it was just so nice to see her and catch up. And I don't know, it really makes you appreciate people, doesn't it? When you haven't seen them for so long and you're not like allowed to see them and then you are. So yeah, I have to say, I have had a really, really nice Easter weekend. Right, I'm gonna finish up getting ready now because if I'm, <laughs> I find it really hard to talk and get ready at the same time, I'll be here for so long and it'll be so boring. So I'll just finish up getting ready. I have now just popped into the office because I need to do a little bit of editing on some videos today. So I'm gonna do that before I go and see the dogs. But it just reminded me that I wanted to unbox these goodies that I've been sent. Um, these are from uh, TIJN, which um, they send me stuff quite regularly. It's not sponsored or anything. They just send me the stuff to try out. And I really, really love um, everything that they send. They mainly do like glasses and blue light glasses. So they've sent me a couple more pairs of glasses today and also a pair of earrings. So I thought, as I'm gonna be using them to edit the video, I will unbox them now and show you what they are like. Dylan, where's Dylan? Uh, have we gone to bed? Dylan, Dylan! Come on, what's this? Ollie's trying to get Dylan to come downstairs and go outside, but he goes up to the bedroom, which is up here, and he never comes down unless you say dinner. And then you can say everything you like and he won't come. The minute you say dinner, he will come bouncing down the stairs. Dylan, dinner. <laughs> Tricked you. <That's> so cruel. <laughs> it's a bit mean, but <laughs> it's the only way to get him downstairs. And it's so frustrating when you're all the way down the bottom, like in the kitchen, and you need him to come downstairs or whatever, and he just never comes downstairs. But the minute you say that, he loves his food, as we just saw. So anyway, size from that. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. So you know I was saying about my hair earlier and it's just like, he's having to give him a little bit of a treat now. We always, if he does come down and we say dinner, we always give him a little treat so we're not like completely tricking him. Um, but yeah, my hair. So I thought what I would do, the underneath was quite wavy and it looked all right. So I just went over with the straighteners and sort of went like that just to the top layer that was frizzy. And now I've got this kind of like wavy look, which I think it looks okay. I've kind of salvaged, but... I really should have just blow dried it last night because when you blow dry it as well it goes like really smooth and it's just a lot nicer whereas when I sleep on it wet in the morning it's like all crunchy and horrible but I was just so lazy so anyway let's get into these um let's start off with this box here so these are some of the blue light glasses um, they always come really, really nicely packaged. I'll leave everything linked down below. They have bought out a like a cheaper range as well, which I've also got to show you so I can compare the two different ones. Um, but yeah, they're still reasonably priced, even the more expensive ones. So when you open it up inside, you just have this like little quote here, which is quite nice. What does this say? And the spring arose on the garden fair, like the spirit of love felt everywhere. So that's quite cute. And then when you open them up, they have this really, really nice packaging which you keep the glasses in. And this is probably the thing that I love the most about these glasses. It's just so convenient. Like it's not too big and bulky and you can pop it in a handbag and take them anywhere. So let's have a look. So these are the ones that I went for and they are your kind of like tortoise shell ones. I really, really love this design when I see it on other people. So I'm hoping it suits me. Um, so they are tortoise shell as you can see you can see like the blue light reflecting on the lens the sides of the glasses are like this and um, they are gold and oh these look really nice the quality of these glasses feels so good like they're really like you know when you bend them in and it's not all loose it's nice and tight and I just really like that so let me try them on oh, they feel nice so what do we think I'm only seeing myself in the viewfinder, which is like this big, so I can't really see that clearly what they look like, but 
from here they look okay they're bigger than my other ones but i think they look really nice they're really comfortable actually i like these compared to the other ones because they are a bit bigger so like you feel like the whole computer screen which is behind you there is like completely covered so you're not going to get any blue light coming into your eyes um, I really like them. The design on these looks really nice too. I love the tortoise shell look of them. Right, let's move on to the next pair. So this is the more affordable pair. So as you can see, they come in a little bit of a different box. It's not like branded or anything. And then inside, they haven't got a case that comes with them. They come in another cardboard box. This is their orange by TIJN range. Um, and yeah, as far as I could see online, this is like their more affordable range, but you just pull it out the end here. And again, I went for some blue light glasses and these are the anti-fog ones, which I thought would be really cool when you're wearing a mask. So especially if you get yours with prescription and you do have to wear them out and about. So these ones look like this again in that kind of like tortoise shell sort of style, but more plasticky. So the sides are like in the to shout as well so you can see they're not metal so these glasses definitely feel lighter and less expensive feeling compared to the other ones um, but they still feel really nice like these are really nice and stiff um, the weight of them feels pretty good but anyway this is a bit of a different shape for me I wouldn't normally go for this kind of like square shape so I'm going to try this on see what it looks like I'm not sure if it's oh that's very different <laughs> Oh, these are the ones that like make you look intelligent, aren't they? Like, I look like I'm doing a degree or something when I'm wearing these. Most certainly not. <laughs> oh, I do like them though. I actually, oh, I sort of prefer the shape of these on me compared to the other ones. Let me know what you think. But again, they feel really, really nice on and they're nice and wide. So they do fit on my face quite nicely. I really like those. I think when I'm editing the video I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to wear these ones though because I just really, really love the look of these ones. But I do still love these ones as well and I think they're a nice affordable alternative. But like I said, both pairs of glasses are really, really reasonably priced. None of them are like super expensive. But I guess with these ones you do get the case with them as well, which is quite handy. So let's move on to the last bit that they sent me and it is a pair of earrings and the jewellery that they sell always comes in this gorgeous packaging. It's just like a pink packaging with their logo on the front there. And then when you open it up, you do have this little thank you card on here, which is just a really, really nice touch. And then these are the earrings that I went for and they are very, very spring vibes. That's why I went for them because I wanted something really nice for the spring. So they are like a, a miniature hoop but with a little like daisy on them and white. And I just thought they were so cute. They have them in all different colors, but I just went for the kind of like plain sort of neutral ones. So I'm just gonna pop this in, see what it looks like. Oh, I think that's really, really cute. I don't like too much of big earrings. I never really wear earrings that much. So when I saw these on the website, I was like, oh, they're perfect. They feel quite heavy as well, like really, really nice quality. And yeah, I just love them. I always love anything that I get from T-I-J-N. So I'm gonna pop my glasses on and I'm going to get on with editing a video because I feel like I need to do this before I go and see the puppies because when I get back from seeing the puppies, I know I'm just gonna be in like little puppy heaven. Oh my God, hello puppy. <laughs> I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy
with neon lights Talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand, said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy It is the next day, it's now Tuesday and I'm just getting sorted to do my spring capsule wardrobe, hence why I'm still in my dressing gown, is actually like, I think it's two o'clock, no it's three o'clock, it's three o'clock and I'm still in my dressing gown, but there is a reason for that. So um, yesterday was Monday the 5th and that was when Boris made his announcement so it meant that I can reopen my salon so I've spent all morning messaging clients and booking them in and all of that so I've just put that to the side for a minute so that I can do my capsule wardrobe I'm really excited about it so that's why I'm still in my dressing gown and I haven't bothered getting dressed because what I'm gonna do is go through all of my stuff and actually try outfits on and put them together and then add them to my wardrobe. So I thought it'd be interesting to just try them on on camera and see what they're looking like. I've got this area here, which is like the hanging up wardrobe bit. So it's got two hangers, one there and one at the bottom. So what I want is to actually have this whole space, just basically all the clothes that I wear. So it's really easy just to see what I've got and just to put them on. I have got like other baskets around filled with clothes and also these drawers have clothes in. But these two drawers are like really my pajamas and stuff and like loungewear. So I'll probably just leave that as it is because that's like what I put on in the evenings and stuff. And then here will be all the stuff that I would wear like during the day, but I'm really gonna limit it to like hardly any outfits. If you can hear crying, that's Dylan. Dylan? What are you crying about? So I think I need to start by basically taking all of these clothes off of here and also um, this area here, I really wanna clean that up as well. So I'm gonna do that first, get rid of all of this stuff and then just go through what I need. Cause a lot of this is like winter stuff, which I'm not really gonna wear um, until next year now. This is a plain sweatshirt and I normally wear stuff like this when I'm dog walking so it's not really something that I'm going to hang up in there, it's more something that I'm going to add into the loungewear bits here so I'm going to put that in there. So this is just a really fluffy oversized jumper thing which is definitely a winter piece so I'm going to put this one away in the pile to go away for winter and again this big jumper here as well is definitely a winter jumper so that one can go away then I've got this dress jumper dress here with a little belt around it which I do really love so I think I'm going to keep that out and style that up for an outfit then I do have another jumper dress as well which I'm going to keep for the spring I really love to wear jumper dresses in the spring because they're quite like warm and keep like your upper body warm but you can wear them with like bare legs and like some trainers or sandals and then they look sort of spring summery but they're still quite warm so that's definitely something that I wear in the spring like sort of transitioning into the summer. Um, on here I actually have a set which I don't know if I'm ever going to wear this to be honest. I think I might put this on my Depop, it's like a beige set um trousers like turned up trousers with the little jacket here it's really cute actually but i just don't think that i really would wear it so yeah i'm gonna have to be brutal and that is gonna go on my depot i love this dress so much that i've worn it once for new year and i just like to hang it up in the wardrobe because it's just so shimmery it is full sequin I don't know if you can see that close up, but it is full on sequins and it is just incredible. I love this dress so much. I really spoiled myself when I got it. It's from Michael Kors. I would never normally buy or spend that sort of money on clothes and stuff. It's just, I prefer to find bargains, but this was hanging up in the window and it just drew me in. I mean, look at these sleeves, look, it's just so cool. And when I wore it for New Year, so many people came up to me and were like, oh my God, where's your dress from? It's so cool. So I feel like 
I feel like it was worth it. So I just keep this one to hang up as more of like a decorative piece. This is my absolute favourite current dress. Um, this was from one of my H&M hauls and it is just gorgeous. It's a full length maxi dress and I just absolutely love it. It's like double lines, so it's not see-through and it's just the perfect spring dress. And you could wear this like on a night out with a pair of heels, um, but you could also throw a denim jacket over it and even trainers or like flip flops or something. And it would look really, really nice as like more of a casual piece. So that is definitely going into my spring wardrobe. And then this is like a cotton shirt. And like I said, I really like to wear just shirts with a little crop top and leggings. It's quite a nice casual outfit. So I definitely will be keeping that on for the spring wardrobe. So that's that big pile of stuff gone through. I do have other stuff in the drawers, but obviously I don't want to be too boring going through it all on camera. So what I'll do now is just sort a few more bits out and then I'll get my outfits put together and show you what stuff I've decided to put in my spring wardrobe and then pop them up on the hangers there. And then I'm going to feel so organised. Okay, so first outfit that I've put together is just a pair of plain black leggings, a little beige crop top and then the oversized shirt that I was showing you earlier. So this is something that I would wear quite a lot I love an outfit like this because it's so comfortable and it looks quite casual but I also think it looks sort of quite stylish and also it's something you can throw on so if you're a bit warmer you can obviously take the little jacket off or you can put it back on to stay warm so the leggings and the crop are definitely a staple thing that I would wear and then I have a few different crop tops so I would just keep all of my crop tops together and then I would just mix and match them with the leggings and then different jackets over the top. So this was the first shirt that I'm definitely going to keep and I'm going to hang this one up there. So next is this super oversized jacket. This is a thicker one, it's more of a blazer. So it kind of looks a little bit more kind of going out if you know what I mean but I just love the fit of this it's so big and it is big enough that I can actually put something underneath it as well so I could even wear a little jumper and then have this over the top but again I've just styled it with the crop and the leggings so I'll be hanging this one up and then one more shirt that I will wear over this outfit is this one it's a lot thinner it's more of like a linen-y material but again it gives like the same sort of outfit but it's a little bit thinner it has really cute little wooden buttons as well so that is what I would do with crop and leggings and then different shirts. So I feel like this is a really easy outfit to wear and it is one type of outfit, but I just put a few different colours and stuff with it depending on how I feel on that day. So that's kind of like one capsule outfit, if you get what I mean. Also, I've taken to using my new glasses as a headband. It's so handy. Like I wear them when I'm doing some editing and I'll just put it up and it just keeps all my hair out of the way. So that's really handy. So that's why I've just constantly got them on my head. Okay, so next I wanted to show you these trousers. These are the pink colour trousers. I think I'm saying that right. Correct me in the comments if I'm not. I am wearing it with totally the wrong pair of knickers. You can see through them. You do have to wear nude knickers with these. But I just wanted to show you again how you can just tie in a crop top with this pair of trousers. And it actually looks like a really, really nice outfit. And if you wear them with a pair of heels, it looks like a nice going out outfit. And then if you wear them with just sandals, you can just wear this during the day and it's just really, really comfortable. So in in the spring and summer it's definitely one of my favorite things to wear and like I said I just want to limit stuff that I've got so the fact that I can wear the same crops with that outfit with these trousers and create a whole different outfit I love that so next I'm wearing the same crop again with this skirt I do have several different colors of crop so I would just mix and match but most of them are either black or neutral colors like this and I find that if you go for those colors you can then get other kind of neutral earthy tones and it all blends together you'll notice that a lot of my clothes are black or neutral or earthy colors like this I really love the color of this skirt I also love olive green and like a really light beigey green color as well I tend to go for that quite a lot so you'll notice that I have similar colours, but that makes it so easy to have a capsule wardrobe because the colours will all go together and you don't need too many clothes. And this is just my opinion. Obviously, wear whatever you like, wear whatever colours you like together. There are no rules, but this is just what I like to do. So this skirt I love and it is so comfortable. It's so nice for the spring. It is quite long. It sort of is a midi skirt. It comes up just above my ankle. It's buttoned all the way down and I would wear this with a crop and then I would pop a little cardigan on with it. So I have two of these cardigans and these are from Zara and they're so handy. They're just a really cute sort of cropped cardigan and I love the look of a matching top and cardigan. So I would just put this on over the top of this outfit, obviously it's a bit of a colder day. And I do have this cardigan in beige, this one, and I also have it in black as well so that I can mix it with any 
outfit. That's another thing I tend to do. If I like something, I will buy it in two colours so that I can still wear it but change it up with an outfit if I want something a little bit of a different colour. Okay, so this is the spring dress that I showed you earlier, the full length maxi one. And I absolutely love this dress. For the spring and the summer, it's so comfortable, it's so easy to put on. And as soon as you put it on, you just, you feel quite sort of glamorous, but you're just really comfortable as well. Like I said before, put it on with a pair of heels for an evening out would be really nice. Or throw it on with a denim jacket and wear it with a pair of trainers or sandals, which I'll show you in a sec, my shoes I'd wear with this. And then you kind of like casually play it down, but it's still really comfortable and the denim jacket keeps you a little bit warm. And then I have these sandals, which as you can see by my toe marks, I've worn these a lot they are just a basic kind of leather sandal i mean there's so many different designs of sandals like this they're just sort of the chunkier bottom ones and they're really really comfortable to wear with like soft leather straps across here loads of different brands do sandals like this but they're so nice to put with any outfit i would wear it with this outfit and i'd wear it with so many other outfits i love wearing these with jeans which i'll show you in a minute and they're just the most comfortable thing to slip on and off and i can walk quite far in these as well but if i had a bit of a longer walk i would wear these i wear these all the time and when i was working i also wore these for work and again they're in this kind of olive green color which i do love and um, there are some ralph lauren pumps but they are on the a little bit more pricier side but i have had these for two years and I've worn them for work so I wore them a lot and was on my feet all day and they just lasted so well and they also just look really really cute with any outfit so I could put them on with this one put them on with jeans so those two pairs of shoes are basically all I wear throughout the whole summer that is it maybe a pair of white trainers I would put on but I do feel more comfortable in things like this compared to trainers. Okay, so this is the pink silky dress that I showed you earlier. And like I said, I just love this dress for like a little barbecue or a meal out when we're allowed. And I just think it's really, really easy to throw on. It's really comfortable. You can eat loads of food and it doesn't cling to you or anything. I just absolutely love this style of dress. And you could wear it with a pair of trainers. I would probably wear this with a pair of heels if I was going like out, out. Um, but if I was going to a barbecue, I would just throw it on with these sandals and make just quite a casual outfit. And I also feel that I could wear a denim jacket with this. I know they're two totally different styles, but I actually think that mixing two different materials together looks quite cool actually and it does make it look a little bit more casual and also it keeps you warm as well so this is the jumper dress style that i would wear and again like i said i just love this for spring it's really really warm but i have got my legs out so it feels like i'm kind of embracing the warmer weather and i would definitely wear this with either pair of those shoes so again i'd wear it with these i think that would look really cute and also with the white ones because it would match and it's just the simplest thing to just throw on so say you've been in your loungewear all day and then you need to pop to the shops or something this a pair of slip-on shoes put it on you're done it looks like you've made an effort but actually you're wearing two pieces of clothing and it's just so simple. This one's really cute because of the way that the skirt flares out as well. So it adds a little bit of detail to it. I won't bother putting this one on, but it is very, very similar. It's just a little bit more creamier in colour. And it does have like a cable knit design to it. But it's a very, very similar idea. This one does have the tie around the waist. So it looks a little bit more dressy. But I absolutely love it as well for the same reasons that I love this one. Okay, so next thing I'll wear a lot of is these jeans. I like to just have one pair of jeans that I like and I just wear them all the time so this is that pair of jeans I don't have many I think I've got maybe a couple of other jeans that are in the bottom of the drawer which I probably won't even wear I'll just wear these all the time I've got this crop on again I'm going to put some other little tops on with these jeans now to show you how I style up the jeans but I've just put a belt on with them and with this outfit I would then throw on one of the lightweight shirts just to put over as like a bit of a cover-up or I would wear a denim jacket. I do like to do a little bit of double denim or I would wear either one of my cardigans, either the nude one or the black one with this outfit. So this is another crop that I'd wear this outfit. This is from Zara and it's their like, is it a body fit collection? I'm not sure, but it's their really like soft, comfortable, like, like spandexy clothing and it's just really, really comfortable. So I would definitely put this on with a pair of jeans and I've got my arms covered so it's a little bit warmer. With this as well, if I was getting a bit colder, this is when I would just throw on a little jumper over as well. So I'll probably just keep a few of these jumpers like this. They're just sort of like loosely knitted jumpers which I do quite like to wear in the spring and summer just like throw over an outfit so I've got a couple of these I've got this one which I will probably hang up there because I wear it quite a lot and then I also have 
this olive one which is a really nice thin material and it's got like rolled up sleeves and again it's something that I could just throw over I'd probably throw this one over a crop because it does drop on the shoulder a bit more so it looked weird for this but yeah just to give you an idea of if it was a bit colder that's what I would wear and then this would look really nice with the olive shoes as well but also the white ones so with these jeans I would also wear crops like this I wish I'd bought more of these I bought this one from H&M in my recent haul, it was in the sale as well, so it was like really, really cheap and it's so cute. So it's got a bit of colour to it, it is like an orangey coral colour, it does look a bit brighter on camera, it is more of a pastel colour in person. But I really like this with jeans, so I'm definitely going to probably get a few more of these because I do like the fit of them and also the fact that the straps are a little bit thicker, so I can wear like a crop top underneath if I want to wear a bra with it, um, so I feel a little bit more covered up, you know. But yeah, I like this with the jeans as well. So another piece that will be in my spring summer collection it will be this denim skirt. Like with the jeans, I just have one denim skirt and I just mix and match it with some of the different crops. But I really like it with this one because like I said, this one's a little bit warmer and the skirt just makes it look a bit more spring and summery. So these two go really nicely together. But again, with the skirt, I would wear the orange crop with it. I think that would look really nice. And I would also wear the beige crop that I've been wearing in pretty much every other outfit with this. So these are kind of like my three crops. I also have a black one that's in the wash, like a black crop with spaghetti straps. Um, and I wear that one quite a lot. And then with this outfit, I would also wear this little skirt here as well. So these two skirts are basically just the two skirts that I will wear throughout spring and summer. There's not many others apart from that midi one that I showed you earlier. And I just think you can wear the same crop. You can wear it with this skirt and it gives you like sort of a quite quite cute preppy vibes I guess and then with this skirt it's a little bit more casual and again with both those outfits I'd wear either pair of these shoes I feel like the shoes are the best thing that I've got as in a capsule wardrobe because I have managed to make them go with every single outfit and it's only two pairs of shoes so the only other pair of jeans that I would wear are some white ones and like with all the others I only have one pair and I just mix and match this with other stuff so these are just some white straight leg jeans which go with everything basically that the blue jeans go with really easy to wear and again you can throw on a shirt over the top of it or a denim jacket over this would look really nice or just a long sleeve top or one of the jumpers as well you can put over this but I definitely think when you put a pair of white jeans on, it automatically feels more like warmer weather, like spring, summer. But it still keeps you just as warm as a normal pair of jeans. So I do like to wear white jeans. The only thing I think is missing from my wardrobe is a pair of nude leggings. I basically just want a soft cotton legging that's nude because I think that would look really nice and a little bit more spring-like than the black ones that I've been wearing. These are the black ones from Primark. I love Primark leggings, they're really thick, they don't go see-through or anything when you bend over. But yeah, a pair of these in nude would just be amazing and I'd wear them quite a lot I think. So if you know of anywhere that I can get a cotton nude legging, let me know. Right, I think I've pretty much sorted out all the outfits so I now need to just continue to put them away in the wardrobe there and then we'll be done. And then I literally have one area with outfits that I can just walk up to pick what I want within a few minutes, throw it on and I'm good to go. Right, I'm back in my dressing gown where I belong. Um, so this is like my little shoe rack that pulls out. So on the back here, I've got two pairs of heels. Like I said, with any outfit, if I was to wear like heels with it, um, I would wear these ones. And these are from Just Fab, but like quite a while ago. Um, and they are both exactly the same. They're just like a heeled sandal. But like I said before, I love to buy things in two colours. So I have them in black and I also have them in like a pinky nude colour. So I'll put them at the back there because like if I was going to dress an outfit up, I would put them on with it. And then on the bottom here, I'm just going to put my Ralph Lauren olive shoes. Then I'm just going to put my white sandals. And then I also forgot about these. I haven't even worn them yet. They are another thing that TIJN sent me and they're just this gorgeous pair of nude sandals. They have like a little heel on them and they have ribbed detailing here and they're really, really cute. So these are definitely going to go in my regular wearing area because these will go with any outfit as well. Every dress I tried on with the jeans, these will just go with all of it. So I'm going to pop them down the bottom here and then basically when that's closed, 
you can just see my regular shoes that I would wear down the bottom there and I can see the outfits and the shoes with them and it's just really easy to like pick out my outfits for the day. So there we have it, my spring wardrobe is complete. It's very simple, as you can see, there's a lot of like neutrals, whites, cream colors here, and then it gets a little bit darker here, um, but it is mainly quite neutral for the spring. And then down the bottom here is very, very minimalistic. I don't have a lot at all really down there. I've just got the white jeans, the blue jeans are in there, a couple of skirts, those pink trousers and then a couple of the jumpers that I like to wear and that's it. So there isn't a whole lot of clothes here. It's very, very minimalistic. I know it could be even more minimalistic but I feel like I've got rid of a lot of clothes from here and a lot from out of the drawers and I just know where I'm at now when I want to go out somewhere. I can just look here, everything's here that I like to wear and I'm comfortable in and I can just throw it on and go. So that is the spring wardrobe, capsule wardrobe complete. <laughs> so I am going to end the video here. Sorry I'm ending the video in my dressing gown with glasses on my head but it's been a process today to get this done and I just had to be comfortable. So anyway I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed seeing the puppies and just coming along with me for the last couple of days. It's been really really nice taking you along with me. If you did enjoy the video definitely give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. I hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye!